my little roar. <laughs> Welcome, people of the World Wide Interweb. That's me again. And it's another muggy day on the North Antrim coast. I don't know if you remember or if you've seen my video there the other week from Torhead. Uh, Torhead is that bit of rock sticking out. Well, just around a wee bit. And the weather is pretty much the same as it was then. Just another wee evening off work and nothing to do, so fill the bike and take advantage of the empty roads. Half five now, so everybody will just be getting home from work and I'm out playing. I, uh, you probably think I'm a bit of a hooligan with the video footage going through the, the bridge. I just can't help myself. I love this Leo Vinci GP can. Oh, sounds immense, but it has to have the baffle out. The noisier the better. Maybe that's coming from a Ducati. That I like loud bikes. Can't have a bike too loud. But then there is people in England are getting section 59s which is, is basically like another version of an ASBO for bikes being too loud or removing baffles and things like that which I think is a bit petty because I can easily go to any town and point out 10, 20 cars which have been lowered away from the standard that low that if they did hit a good pothole in the road or a good bump they will ground out and lose control uh, tires that wide that forget about aqua playing on the, the water they're gonna be sailing on it you know tires protruding inches out from the arch and you, you run the risk as well if they had a large bump and the arch hits the tar get a blowout you know it's going to cause accidents but what do you want to pick on you want to pick on the motorcyclist that has his motorcycle well maintained clean smile and uh, has a car a can that's just slightly loud but it's still not opened this road yet Pretty sick. I love these roads. <coughs> Excuse me. Just blew out everybody's speakers are. No, so every bike I have, I think the first mod I do is rip the can off, get a nice big deep throaty loud can on it. After that it has to be, I drop a tooth on the front and add one on the back. It's just that nice balance. And then your clocks are only out a couple of mile an hour anyway. Sure. They're out anyway at top speeds. Oh yes, passing the sardines and their cans. Another reason I like motorbikes. So that's it's finally passed, the sardines and their cans, and back to nice open roads. And the sun is starting to come out, so the day is looking good. I love these roads. I know I keep saying it, but I really do. Well, 
as I was saying, modifications. So exhaust, my first mod. Second mod is the gearing. Third mod. Oh, I'll listen to that car. Um, third mod has to be a screen for me. I'm short in the legs but tall in the body. So no matter what bike I buy, I seem to get blasted and will win. I got a PUG, I think it's pronounced PUIG. This is a PUG screen. Or if you want to be ignorant, Pug. One of them Pug screens. So I have uh, got it. I have to say, the, thing, the, uh, the difference that it makes is great. Still windy as you can hear today, but not as bad as it would be without it. Definitely a must. And then I go for my wee shorty levers. I like the the two finger clutch and two finger brake, so that's why I have a preference of the short levers. These are my cheap old Chinese ones. I've had them since I got the bike now, so I've had them a, near enough a year now. No issues with them yet. Uh, they haven't broken killed me, so £25 well spent for me, I would say. <coughs> and then, after I've got my, my levers, my screen and all that, I start in the carbon. I don't know what it is about motorbikes and carbon, they seem to go hand in hand. If you ask any motorcyclist, when they see a bike that's got loads of nice carbon, they're like, yeah, that looks cool. I don't know why, maybe it's something genetic. That you inherently like something that's lighter. You know, lighter it is, the more sprung weight you're losing. Then again, for the amount you're losing, cut down on the poor pies and you you'll have a few thousand pounds worth of carbon right there can't beat the amp post road, look at that nice sweeping corners no junctions for the odd coffin dodger to pull out on you and this is coming into the town of Carnock Nice place to, to visit. Also nice for an ice cream. I've been coming up here many a year to get an ice cream. Way back when the, the ice cream shop there was called Dara's Ice Cream and it was far better. I think I will call it a day for now. I'm gonna make a wee pit stop up here, get myself a cup of coffee, and then head home. So until the next time, uh, I'll see you then, and if there's any videos or requests uh, that you want me to do, just leave me a comment either on my page or on this video. I'll do it the next time for you.